Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One Predictions. The first midweek games of this season. You know what I try and do, I try and predict every result in the League One games for this midweek. So guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Atkinson Stanley vs Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury 0 0 with Rochdale, Africa Stanley against 1 0 with AFC Wimbledon. Um, let's go to the Shrewsbury game for this one. I'm not quite sure how to take that as a Shrewsbury fan. Do feel free if you support any of these clubs, do feel free to put your comments down below. Thoughts on your team, thoughts on your opposition. Um, questions to me if you want, you know, just feel free to put it all down in the comments below. Um, but for this game, I've gone with a 1 0 Shrewsbury Town win. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus Tramia. Tramia 5 0 winners over Bolton, and Bristol Rovers losing 2 0. I can't sack Coventry City because Coventry City ground sharing. But I did lose 2-0 to Coventry at Birmingham City's ground. Um, let's go to Tramia for this one. 5-0 um, winners over Bolton. I ain't going to knock Bolton too much because I know they're in financial uh, troubles. Hopefully get it sorted out soon. Um, but, you know, 5-0 win, win for Tramia. If you're a Tramia Rovers fan, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, you know, anything you got, just put it down in the comments below. Um, but for this one, I've gone for a 3-0 Tramia Rovers win. My next one is Fleetwood Town versus Wickham Wanderers. Fleetwood, 3-2 losers to Doncaster. And Wickham Wanderers, 3-2 winners over Milton Kings. Um, let's talk about the Fleetwood defeat for a second. I think I think I expected a bit more out of Fleetwood for the result. I think I might have actually put them down as a draw or a win. Do feel free to check out my video from the previous weekend predictions um, as well. But I think I should put Fleetwood down to win. Actually, I might have actually put Doncaster. As I said, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I've gone with a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Gillingham versus Blackpool. Now, Gillingham was supposed to play Berry this weekend, but it got postponed. So we've got no other choice but to talk about the Blackpool result which was a 2-1 win over Oxford at Blackpool. Um, you know, Blackpool, they seem to got their sales out of financial, you know, situations. Um, hopefully, uh, ho you know, hopefully they're making that slow step forward um, to, who knows, come back up to the Championship, Premier League maybe. But for this one, I've gone for a 2 0 Blackpool win. My next game is Itrish Town versus AFC Wimbledon. Um, AFC Wimbledon. Itrish drew 2 2 with Peterborough. AFC Wimbledon 1 0 over Atkinson Stanley. I think I was Put Ittridge to win uh, against Peterborough, but Peterborough getting a point against Ittridge. Um, Ittridge are very much a team that I'm expected to come back up to the championship. So I suppose you Peterborough fans are happy. As always, feel free to put it down in the comments below. But with this game, I've gone with a 3 0 Ittridge win. My next one is MK Dons versus Lincoln. MK Dons losing 3 2 to Wickham. And Lincoln Town beating Southend 4 0. What a job they're doing at Lincoln. 
um, you know, the two brothers, how far are they going to go with this Lincoln team? And that's what I really am interested in. Lincoln are one of them like lower league teams that I'm constantly on the lookout for. They might not do much, you know, title-wise, but as a team, getting up through the steps in, you know, League 2 to League 1 to Championship, they will be a team to watch out for in the near future, I personally think. But with this one, I've gone with a 2-1 Lincoln win. My next one is Oxford versus Burton Albion. Burton Albion losing 1-0 to Wolfram. And Oxford 2-1 lost to Blackpool. Cinema I long spoke about Blackpool. Burton Albion losing 1-0 to Wolfram at home. Probably ain't the result you thought you would get. Cinema is an old championship fixture as well. Um, but for this one, I have gone with a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Portsmouth versus Coventry. Portsmouth losing 2-1 to Sunderland. And Coventry 2-0 winners over Bristol Rovers. Um, I spoke about... You know, I ain't got beat around the bush with this one. I'm just going to hand you the result over. And I'm going for a 3-1 Coventry City win for that one. My next one is Rochdale versus Sunderland. Now, this is why I didn't want to talk about Portsmouth in my last prediction I just did. Because Sunderland was in my next scheduled game. So, let's go and talk about the Sunderland-Portsmouth games ever so slightly. Um... You know, going 1-0 down and coming back 2-1 at home is more likely expected to be what it was. But going 1-0 down against Portsmouth, it can't be that easy to get the score and um, to get, you know, the win. But, um, you know, fair play to Sunderland. Um, so for that one, I have gone for a 3-2 Sunderland win. The next one is supposed to be Rotherham versus Berry. Unfortunately, due to the financial situation that Berry's in, um, they, this game's been postponed as well. So, you know, Berry, I really do hope you get your problem sorted out soon. So we move on. Um, Southend versus Peterborough. Peterborough 2 2 over Itchwich. Southend 4 0 losing over. Lincoln. I've already spoke about you know the two fixtures, so I just can't give you the result. I went with a one all scoreline for that one. My last one for the midweek um is Bolton versus Doncaster. Um Bolton I've already spoke about uh 5-0 over losing 5-0 over Tramia. Doncaster 3-2 over Fleetwood. Um, I spoke about that one as well a bit. Um, let's go from the Doncaster point of view. A home three points for Doncaster. You know, uh, I think if they get their balance right, I think they'll be in the championship. Well, back in the championship before long. Um, but anyway, guys. For the result for this game, I've gone for a 3 nil Doncaster win. But guys, anyway, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.